So you want to make games, but you're not an artist? Or maybe you can't commit the time necessary to making the art because you're spending all of your time actually developing the game. So what are your options? To make your game shine, do you need to hire an artist? Or are you doomed to use your programmer art forever because you have no budget? Don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm going to very quickly show you some highly accessible sources for your game art assets. In no particular order, here is itch.io, often used for game jams, but if you go to Browse, go to Assets, here you have a lot of 2D and even 3D options, uh, some paid and a lot for free. What I like about itch.io is the sorting capabilities. For example, if you absolutely need free, over on the left, select that tag, and then let's say you're looking for 2D, top-down, sprites. So now it has sorted according to those criteria, and here are my options. You have a name your own price option. This means you can download it for free, but if you're feeling generous, you can give back to the artist by giving them some money. Itch.io does not require an account for the free downloads. Next up, we have the gamedevmarket.net. And this is similar to itch.io, and you'll see similarities between some of these platforms in terms of their search capabilities. In my opinion, gamedevmarket.net has a slightly cleaner interface. However, it does require an account for downloads. But again, here you can see your options. So you can select, for example, uh, GUI or HUD, and then you can select paid or free. Let's pick free and update. And here are some options. Maybe I want these steampunk gears for my buttons. I could add those to cart. And then once I create the account, I can download those for free. One feature of gamedevmarket.net that is really nice are the bundles. You can navigate up to asset bundles and select either GDM or seller created bundles. And in this case, let's say you find an artist whose style you really like. You could pick a bundle and pick multiple asset packs from that same artist. So for example, this fantasy RPG game sprites bundle from the same artist, you get many different packs. And this could be ideal for creating either different games in the same style or maybe different levels or areas of your game world within the same game. Next up, we have craftpicks.net. Now, this has a lot of similarities to itch.io and gamedevmarket.net. However, the service offering is different, and this is where the value really comes in. While it does offer free assets, here you can see this in blue is free. You can pay a monthly price or a cheaper annual price, and this would unlock instant access to the game assets, including future ones. Let's say you find a game artist whose style you really like, and you download one of their asset bundles. If they continue to update that bundle, you'll get access to those updates with your included membership. These are all royalty free and they're generally high quality. No account is required for the free downloads. Next, I wanted to give a special mention to the reddit.com slash game assets. Now this is more of a notice board for game assets that are available to you because it will actually link you to third party websites, some of which we've already visited. Only free assets are accepted. They have to be available for free forever and should be available as a download without requiring the user to register or share their email address. So unless you're going through, say, one of those websites that do require an account, they will otherwise need no information from you. Uh, no requests or questions, no tutorials or videos without download, blah blah blah. Interestingly, no game assets made using generative AI. Now, the reason this is important, and they put this up here at the top as well, it's not so much about the style, it's more about the data ownership and the licensing rights. It's hard to be totally sure where your data is coming from if you're generating your art through AI, and especially if you're getting your art from a third party who's using AI. Very hard to track that down. So for legal purposes, if you're making a commercial game, this is a really good deal. Next up, we have devassets.com, which is actually part of Bracky's website. And a lot of these assets are used for tutorial purposes. And they are cheap or free, depending on how much you want to order. So for example, for this Mayan temple setup, you can select the $2, $5, $10, $20 options, or zero. Now $0 is going to get you their base option with the 20 models, whereas the maximum is going to give you the whole kit and caboodle. So again, this is a pretty small website, but they are high quality have at it. This next website is polygon.com, which is fantastic for 3D models and 3D textures. And you might notice that this is actually the website of the Blender Guru guy who's responsible for all those donuts. The site offers a lot of premium paid options, but it also has a lot of free options as well. And they're really high quality. I recommend you check it out if you're into 3D. As you can see, an account is not required for the free downloads. If you make a purchase, you'll of course have to enter purchase information, but otherwise it's free, no account required. Next up is opengameart.org. Now this has some similarities, but it has a really strong 3D presence. Tiny weeds, anyone? And it also does not require an account for download. 
Now, one of the features I like about this website is the transparency in selecting the license that's associated with your art. So let's say I'm looking for 3D art and I pick which kind of art I'm into, but then down below, I can also select the actual license that's attributed. So in this case, if I wanted Creative Commons, I might select CCO. Now these are going to be the games that have the CCO license. What does that mean? Well, really quickly under FAQ, this will go into detail about the licensing and how you should attribute your artists, if at all. So have a look here under the FAQ page, scroll down below. It's very helpful for understanding how the Creative Commons works. And this extends to beyond just this website. This is for licensing in general. Now the last thing I'll mention here is your game engine. You're probably already familiar with this, but open up your game engine, whether that's Unity, Unreal, Godot, in this case it's GDevelop, go over to your store or your shop, and you're going to find a load of assets, some of which are gonna be free, some of which are gonna be premium, and those are generally gonna be updated on a regular basis, so don't forget about those. I've presented you with several options to get you started, so without further ado, get out there and make your game. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, I hope you have fewer bugs than I do. Thanks.